Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. Yeah, they're gonna have us looking like Johnny Somali. But this is an underground lab, so where they do illegal human experimentation. So I think they'll give us a pass. Don't worry about it. Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. Hell yeah. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. I know I do. I am unstoppable. There we go. Bink! I, I still can't get it. Stop taunting your mediocre health. Nope, nope, nope. Bink! Okay. Let me get somebody. Thanks. Whatever. I didn't, I didn't want it anyway. I bet those weren't the last of them, Yagami-san. If anything, that was just a welcoming party. They'll know we're here, too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. I hope not. Who are these guys, anyway? Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Yep. Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's gotta be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. What the tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Uh. Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even True. if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. Okay, that is. And calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafia shot? Yeah, what the? What's wrong with you? I've got an idea. Just what? talk to Mafia for me, okay? What? We'll keep looking for the lab. Dude. What are you. What's wrong with you? They can't search the place without a warrant. Hold on. So why the? Shouldn't go in there without a light. Um. You got a light on? Oh, okay. I was about to say. Who knows what's gonna be in here? People. Just be careful. Don't worry about it. It's not like we're gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna get attacked by freaking mutants. Uh. Why was he just ready to, to tussle? Oh. Damn. Muscular as dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What you want? Alright, anyway. Moving on. Damn, this place looks like ass. Uh, what? Ugh. What the f Is that what I think it is? Yep, that's what I think it is. Alright, let's see what this is for. That's a plane. Overhead. Ow! Oh, I guess I did need it. But can I use that as a weapon, though? In, in, the, in the room, dummy. Massage machine. Right. 
Keep it down, Sukira. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. If, if all else fails, you can just <laughs> jumpstart your heart with that machine. What is it this time? Bro, he got took. Segura? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? Above you. The Splicers. Damn it. They're really going for a horror vibe with this one. I think I'm kind of ruining by walking around with a massage machine. Ah, yeah, you No. Get the machine. Yeah. Can I fight somebody yet? Oh. Gentlemen. Put the fanboy down. The hell? Can't you see I'm trying to have some fun here? D damn! <laughs> you think so, Claytus? Shut the fuck up. Give me that. Don't worry, I'll get you out of there. Don't you worry. I don't like that. I don't like <laughs> Wink. Bunk. Sorry, you missed. Dodge him. Why did the lights still work? I thought this place was... Well, whatever. They probably got the electricity. Back on. To run those experiments. I, excuse you. Please stop dodging. Don't you worry, Sugiyar. Ah! The prompt was too quick. Only several, but whatever. On, let's keep going. Who the hell <laughs> swooped down and like took you? What the? F oh my god! What the fuck? Why did you... Oh, what's with this guy? I should probably keep my distance for now. You think? I don't even know why you walked up to him. I actually went to the door. I think I might have something for that ass. How do you like this? Now 
Now's my chance. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. Let me in. Bitch. I had to go back down to get that damn thing. I could have used that stun baton, apparently, but you know that I already did. So oh, I used it on the dude for the EX. Oops. Man, if you don't get out of my face, think you, think you all that. Just hang on, just stay still. Bink. Anyway. <laughs> what the f- Ew. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get the yeah. There you go. Where's Sledgehammer? Oh. Oh, Fix the camera. Hold up. I just realized my. Nope. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop taunting and start punching. Never mind. That's what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Please, let's finish this. is not going well. Damn, you already down? You just got up. Fine. All right, anyway. Got our asses handed to us. Oh, does he have his mask on? No. Nope. All right. Man. I don't even know why he has his hood up then. Please, well, nothing weird. Okay. That's better. This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. Hello. Oh, you didn't see us? You two. What are you? Shono. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Guess our time is. Dumbass boy. Segura. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. You got it. I thought you said evidence didn't matter. Uh, stop that. So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out. You did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are going to have a field day in this place. Yeah, but you forget that one of the cops is dirty. Fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids. Ew. DNA. Wouldn't that count as bodily Can fluids? Imagine? Just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light. I, I don't know what you're. Huh? Yeah, buddy, we got you. Yeah, buddy, you canceled, bro. Segura, what's wrong? You better. Sorry. If you freaking betray me, bro, I swear to God. If you betray me, bro, I swear. Yagami-san. I've been lying to you about everything all along. You son of a now. bitch. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex-Kachihira. 
That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. Uh. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is awkward. I'm the younger brother of Emmy, who this bastard murdered. <laughs> okay, he didn't betray me. All right, thank God. Nobody move. You in the hood. Drop the knife. Now. Oof, I see. Now you got to go to jail, Sugiura. Why couldn't you just... You dumbass. You're under arrest for attempted murder. Got your ass, boy. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. Oh, okay. Okay, no push him. Relax. Yo, you're done. You're done, buddy. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. I'm assuming oh, yeah. there's a catch. No crime was committed here. Let's... I'm sorry, bitch. What? This a whole lab. He's cooking some shit. Oh, he's in on it too. You mother bitch. We can't just. No, we can. You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? You got a warrant, though. Keto told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. Oh, we got him. He's in they the, the arcade. They would never a warrant on such grounds. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which Boy. makes this what? a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagamika. How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. You know how that way. Let me through. Vice Minister Ichinose. This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory, our top secret research facility for AD9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, it's this crime scene, bitch. Crime scene now. Uh oh, right? back to the lab again. Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. What the fuck? At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. Proof's right here in this room. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding, my brother. Come on. I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You. You see, none of that is my concern. Oh, son of a what? bitch. <laughs> Why he still is on? Hey. You should be thanking your lucky stars. We haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <laughs> He don't care about that shit. He gonna shit, get out sooner or later. Feel bad for the poor guy. I don't. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. I don't feel bad for him. You smoke? Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Who that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Oh shit! And he gets down like that. He he go that fighters. This is a secret research facility for AD9. Yes, Vice Minister. That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD9's sake. What? 
But, sir... Many thanks. Truly, I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, everyone is to evacuate the premises at once. I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD-9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. We still got the video, though. We still got the video. Don't even, don't even worry about it, Yagami. We got the video. We got his ass on tape touching a woman's ass. It might have been illegal, but still. We don't tell them that. The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Kido. The same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. Oh, damn. I bet. Huh. I didn't know I was this close. Oh, you still? Oh, you still kicking it with us? I thought you hated me. Damn, y'all got, y'all got y'all shit rocked. You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep, just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Keto too. Looks like it. How'd things go with your stuff? Bust. We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. I got it on the camera though. Yagami-san. Right. 
There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? Did this have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um, that's not actually his name. Huh? Yeah, he tried to hide it, though. So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? Wait. How old is he? And how old was... I don't know. Who cares? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. That'd be I funny if what? he didn't. How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. Aye, right, bro, chill. The murderer who then burned Emmy to death. Damn, that's heavy. Yeah, but then it turns out it wasn't him. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then, I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though, when nobody else was. Why you put your mask on? <laughs> and then, somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. Well, technically, there was a reason. The world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning. And people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So, I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died... Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yup. I looked totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so I couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer? You're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. I put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got this far. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around talk again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. Even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. Well, it's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. It sure seemed that way from my perspective. So... I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you've forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. And now it turns out... Shono... He's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's! gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. 
What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira. Ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? If that's still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can. Even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Tuck? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. That's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Thanks for coming. No problem, baby. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone Oh, suspicious? I didn't... Look. Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Where's Kaito? Mind oh. I sit? I was about to say. What happened? Yo, you, to your yeah, fears? you. You cough. Yeah. This? It's not. Oh. Oh. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yeah, back yes. to more important matters. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like he's a different person. Almost like. He cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. <sighs> Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About 10 years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him, made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the Children's Park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? Were your bodyguards? Yes, at least that was the plan. But 
Seeing what already happened to you. You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Yes, chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Kevin, what did I say? I, I said lose my number, bro. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's Are you go. ready? Yeah, what the? The detective is waiting for us. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, I was on eBay checking about the, the, the dang old tyranny. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Yep. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what? Are they going to follow us the whole way like that? Yeah, they're totally not suspicious. What should we do? Uh, you. You back off. Yeah. We'll take care. We go beat the shit out of them, and then we gonna see the detective. All right, well, don't go, don't go around the corner. Stay with the eyesight at least. Mink. There you go. Mink. Mink. You got this. Oh, so I gotta defend. Do I gotta defend her? Okay, Kaito. Thank you, Yagami kun. Keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? No love for me, Mafia chan? Hang in there, too, Kaito san. Yeah, we're talking. All right. What the I'm fuck? <laughs> so let's not screw this up. Hang in there, Yagami. Oh, what? Don't say how Bet. Thank you. It did seem a bit weird that she was. Okay, my... stay in one spot. But... Stay away from my wife. Bank. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Damn, Kaito. Get your ass up. Mafu you was watching. Alright, let's go. What in the bitch? Hmm. I heard we had a snitching on this. Yeah. There you go. I don't know what the hell. Don't worry about it. Pink. All right, let's go. I'll take that. Hiya. Goodbye. Damn. You're dead. Oh. Come Bink. Wait. Oh. Hey. How the 
hell I miss? Yeah, buddy. This way. How is she running in them hills? We hitting up the burger joint? I probably want burgers. I don't know. Nope. Yep. There you go. Damn. No, I would have just stayed down after that. <gasps> Nunchaku. Stood up for too long. How about you take a seat? Where you going? Damn. You you hit the hell out of me. Stay away from the wife, bro. That's it? Beat your ass, boy. Hang on. There you go. Okay. Yeah, give me. I'm gonna need you to step. Sir, stop evading. Who? Right. Yeah. Oh. That was weak as hell. You're done. And hang on. All right. Where you at? Come here. Shut up. Stupid. Kaito, move. Look at that. Yep. Yep. And yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Hmm. Trying to hit. I'll be calling. Try not to, but he kick up my ass though. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. I don't know why you just stand there looking like you stole something. Alright, anyway, moving on. Uh, can I get healed, please? Oh, that's it. Damn. As soon as I. <laughs> this is the place. He should already be here. How wonderful. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. That him? Oh. That's him. All right, hang on. I'm going to just go eat. Hello. Uzawa-san, yes? Yeah, that's me. Huh? 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 Oh, you're the detective from before. Oh, shit, Yagami. 
you used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? Oh, that gambling debt. I ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chatterheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not... What? I like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. Wait, I, but I thought they were dead. Were they not dating? I could have sworn they were dating. So? I don't know. Who cares? Case. Who cares anymore? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But Damn. Why? A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother. All to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. If I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result is him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well, not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. After everything his brother did, Morita was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. The guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Hmm? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold. All because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh, <laughs> it's just uh, really obvious you used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yagami-kun. I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yota. 
Make sure she gets home safe. 